Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be doing a healthy meatloaf, something that uh, you can cook and you can have over a couple nights or um, it's something that your whole family can enjoy. I actually spoke to another person on this group that was looking for something that uh, they could feed to their family, their husband and their kids that they wouldn't have to make two separate meals. So I suggested this one. I said, you know, try this meatloaf. It's not going to impact your weight. Uh, you're you're going to be doing your portioning out your portion, your your amount, be it three ounces, six ounces, whatever you're on. And uh, it's it, it's really delicious and it's somewhat healthy. So with your family, you could serve it with with potatoes, and for yourself, you can have it with a uh, steamed green vegetable. So. Let me go over the ingredients with you. Okay, what I've got here is I've got 99% fat-free. I'm using Shady Brook Farms uh, ground turkey. It's a pound and a quarter. I think the size on it is 1.3 pounds. It's fine, it's all you're gonna need. I've also got eight ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms. Uh, you can use white mushrooms, uh, whatever you would like. Just make sure that it's stemmed, chopped, and clean. When we, when I open this up, we're going to chop them up really well. Got two eggs. I've got about a medium-sized onion. I'm going to be using uh, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm going to have seven tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup. Uh, you're not going to use it all at once. You're going to use some inside the recipe and some to top the uh, meatloaf with. And to that, I've got two cloves of really finely chopped garlic. And last but not least, we have a third of a cup of, I'm using almond milk, and I've got one cup of seasoned panko breadcrumbs. Now, breadcrumbs do have carbs, and I understand that. And so should the uh, onion, when you cook it, it's gonna release some sugars. But the way I'm looking at it is, this is such a massive loaf, and you're gonna have such a small portion. For me, I'm only gonna eat about uh, four ounces, okay? Between six to four ounces is what I usually ate. Um, but for me, I, four ounces works fine. So I'm gonna have a four ounce, four ounce portion and uh, the amount of actual breadcrumbs and the amount of sugar impact from those uh, uh, onions I don't ever see it impacting the weight. I'm, I'm still continually dropping. So that's something to think about before you comment that carbs are bad. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get this sweet onion and gonna dice it down. You want to make sure you have a good sharp knife, otherwise it's going to slip out from under you. Basically that'll do it for here. You want to try to mince this up as good as you can. You can use a food processor for this, which will... Uh, Make your life a lot easier. For me, I don't really want to get into cleaning one right now. So, just going to dice it up a little bit. And I'm going to transfer it into a separate bowl. All right. Let me finish chopping this up and we'll get to the mushrooms. Okay, we got the, uh, the onions all chopped up. I'm gonna put those aside in the bowl and now we're gonna get to the mushrooms. Like I said, these are just baby bellas. You can use the white ones. Just make sure they're stemmed and uh, clean. 
So again with this, I got plenty of mushrooms. Uh, I'm just gonna chop them up. Food processor, like I said, would help a lot with this. But after we chop these, all completely up. I'm going to again uh, put these in a bowl and then we're going to move over to a skillet where I'm going to saute these down so they release their water and uh, then it's going to all start to come together pretty quick. So Let me finish up these, get them in my bowl and uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, I'm gonna at this time start up the oven 400 degrees sent the set the rack in the center and uh, we're going to start taking care of the mushrooms and the onions right now. This is actually the, um, the hardest part to the whole uh, recipe. So hang in there. So we've got a pretty hot pan on here and I'm using some uh, extra virgin olive oil with uh, garlic infused. I can control how much I'm throwing in there. Into that, I'm going to throw in the onions. And I'm just going to let these uh, start to cook a little bit prior to putting the uh, mushrooms in. Because these are going to take just a little bit longer. And you can add, uh, got about a teaspoon of salt and pepper here. Okay, now I'm going to uh, throw the mushrooms in. And I kind of want to stir those in, get them incorporated. Because once these are all done and the mushrooms have uh, lost some of their moisture and the onions are nice and tender, then we're going to transfer this to a big stainless bowl and there it's going to cool. Uh, so let me cook this down a little bit and uh, we'll get back to it when it's about done. Okay, now that I've got that in there, what I'm going to do is add about two tablespoons of the uh, sugar-free ketchup. Make sure that gets in there. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. I 
once we've got all that together, kind of mix it up. It smells incredible. Okay, we're going to uh, kind of just spread it out and let this set until it cools down. And then we're going to uh, um, add the egg and the turkey and the breadcrumbs and the garlic. And then we will be ready for the baking. Okay, this is where the fun part comes in. And it all comes together uh, so that you can invite the, the kids over to help out. I'm gonna bro I broke two eggs. And I put them into the mix here. And to that, I'm going to add turkey. Pretty simple, just drop it in there. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add the third of a cup to the uh, breadcrumbs. Let me just put this aside for a second here. So, I'm going to get these breadcrumbs and I'm going to incorporate the cream in with the breadcrumbs. And you know, I, I say a third of a cup, but it's still looking a little bit dry. So, if you need to add a little bit more uh, almond milk, go ahead and do that. Gonna want to mix it up so that it's a uh, it, it kind of hangs together a little bit, but it's not uh, completely dry. So with that put together, we're gonna bring back the big bowl and we're gonna put that right in there with that. And now we're gonna mix it. I like to mix it by hand. Oh, I forgot one thing. We're going to uh, add the two cloves of minced garlic. So the way I like to do this is just kind of leave my fingers loose and just kind of separate the meat, incorporate the mushrooms and onions. And you're just going to kind of swirl this all together. Kind of like a, a pinching mode under there. And I'm just kind of twisting it around. Kids love to do this. And they can mix it as much as you like. Get it up off the sides. And it's going to be a wet mixture. It's, it's going to be pretty wet. But that's exactly what I want. Okay. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do at this point is take out a baking sheet. I'm going to line it with uh, like a cookie sheet. And I'm going to line it with nonstick foil. And uh, make a little bit of a loaf. Of I've got the baking sheet now. I'm going to hit it just with a light coating of the garlic spray olive oil. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the meat and I'm going to try to form it into as tight a package as I can. And I'm going to put that right in the center. Take your remaining. Do what I'm going to 
do is I'm going to try to just like make a loaf out of it. And in the middle, I'm going to make a little bit of an indent. Just a little bit. So with that indent there, I'm going to take the remaining ketchup and I'm going to paint that right on there. And this is going to thicken up like a glaze in the oven. Now we're going to want to cook this to 165 degrees internal temperature and to do that I'm going to use my uh, Thermopro um, thermometer. So once I have this all set take my thermometer and I turn this on and I'm going to take the probe and just kind of stick it in the, the middle, the thickest part there. And I'm going to wait for uh, an internal temp of 165. So let's throw this in the oven. Okay, 400 degrees, center rack, we just slide it right in there, and uh, once this hits 165, or actually about 160, we'll be good to go. Whenever I'm making this recipe, people always call me, they sit there and go, hey Dave, uh, uh, what are you doing? And I, and I tell them I'm making meatloaf, and automatically they want one, especially around dinner time. Can you make me one? Do you have any extra stuff? And usually I do. So while I was letting the uh, mushrooms and onions cool, got a call from a friend, and uh, so I'm gonna make another one right quick and get it in the other with this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time to get this out of the oven. Now that is amazing. It's nice and firm. Smells great. It's got a little bit of a toasted bottom to it. So I'm just going to let that sit and cool for a little while and then we're going to take a slice of that and uh, I'll show you how, how beautiful it actually is. Okay I've just cut one piece and uh, it's crunchy on the outside but uh, on the inside, it is just as moist as you can imagine. It's actually pretty incredible how moist that can get. And the flavor, oh. The flavor is just off the hook. So there you have it, the turkey meatloaf.